This is the Orico Magnetic M2 NVMe SSD portable enclosure. With this device, you can directly transfer anything from your iPhone onto the SSD and from the SSD on your computer or wherever you want. Inside the box, you will see the enclosure. It is very small and it is going to go on the back of your iPhone, directly attaching to the magnetic on the back of your iPhone. It has the MagSafe. So this being an enclosure, you need to install an SSD inside and this one used the M2-2230. Inside the box, they have provided everything for the installation of the new SSD on this enclosure. You simply need to remove one screw and open the enclosure so that you have access to the PCB board. The PCB board is really small, but the SSD that goes on it has a lot of speed to provide to your iPhone. For me, I choose the 512 gigabyte inland TN-436. This SSD is capable of providing writing speed of 2300 megabyte per second and reading speed of 3600 megabyte per second. For the installation, you simply need to have the SSD at an angle of 45 degrees and you simply insert it inside the board. After that, you can see that we have 45 degrees here. You simply press down on the SSD and you will use one screw to hold the SSD down on the PCB board. Inside the box, you will also find a thermal pad which is going to help with heat dissipation. For the installation, you need to remove the plastic on one side of the thermal pad and then apply the thermal pad on top of the SSD, then remove the other plastic that is on the other side of the thermal pad. To finish, you need to reinstall one screw on the side of the enclosure in order to close everything. So here is my iPhone 15 Pro Max with the Orico Magnetic M2 SSD on the back. And as you can see, it is really snug. It doesn't move. This is ideal for doing things on the go. I do have other SSDs. They are either too big or of the same size as this one, but they have one thing in common. They do not have MagSafe or magnet on the back in order for me to attach the SSD on the back of the iPhone. So currently I couldn't find the SSD on the iPhone and I try on my iPhone 15. I couldn't find the SSD also inside the file application. So depending on the type of SSD that you use with this enclosure, you will need to format the new SSD into APFS in order for the SSD to work with your iPhone. You can either format the new SSD with APFS or XFAT format. I'm using a MacBook to do this. You need to allow the accessory to connect and after that you need to click on initialize. Once the disk utility application is open, you can see the new SSD or the new enclosure on the left side of the window. So after you have clicked on Realtek RTL, you will see the new SSD and its specifications. I have here 512 gigabyte of SSD memory. On the top right of the screen, you will need to click on erase and you will see this pop-up menu. So simply give a new name to your SSD or your favorite name that you want this SSD to be named. Right below you have the format that you can select. I recommend that you select APFS. This is the preferred format for MacBook and iOS. This is going to give you the most speed as opposed to choosing an XFAT format. The XFAT format is going to be compatible with MacBook, iOS, Android, and Windows. If you plan to use this SSD only with iPhones, you need to have it into APFS. But if you want to use the SSD with iPhones and your Windows PC or Android device, you need to have the format as XFAT. By going with APFS, the reading and writing speed are going to be at the maximum. But if you go with XFAT, you will lose maybe 200 megabytes per second for the reading and writing. So this enclosure being a 10 gigabyte per second enclosure you're capped at 1000 megabyte per second so this is why you have a writing speed of 900 and above and also a reading speed of 800 and above i have tested multiple times the reading and writing speed it is very consistent which is what we want with ssds so it is ready. It is time to test the Orico M2 magnetic enclosure with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. After you have inserted the SSD, you go inside the file application. You will see the new name for the SSD. So as it is, this is very ideal if you want to record directly on an SSD. The SSD is locked on the back of your iPhone. It doesn't move around and it will not affect you while you're trying to record a video. So here's the iPhone 15. This is the same thing also. I have the file application open. I can see the Orico M2 SSD. Like I said, you can have all your videos that are on your iPhone or select a bunch of videos, transfer them onto the SSD. You have a lot of speed in order to do the process really fast and after that you simply take the Orico M2 SSD, plug it on your computer and recover everything. 